Mookie Betts leading off for the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's game one. NLCS. Dodgers Braves coming your way next. Go move. At this level, on this stage, statements are made with every pitch, every swing, every unforgettable moment. Can't win any longer. The Braves carry confidence, poise, and the momentum of dominant pitching masterpieces. As dominant of a pitching performance as we have seen in baseball history. Now they face a very different test. A powerhouse with talent for the ages. They have stars all over the place. And postseason goals still left to achieve. He leaps! It's like a false He made the catch! No stopping now. Who will make the opening statement? Who will take the next step toward the ultimate destination? Game one of the National League Championship Series starts now on Fox. Ronald Acuna Jr. He is a star for these Atlanta Braves. That beast. That's right. Back in the NLCS for the first time since 2001. Their opponent, of course, will be the Dodgers. They're in familiar territory. Fourth trip to the LCS in the last five years for them, but they have not won the whole thing since 88. Cody Bellinger hoping to change all that, and it all begins tonight on Fox. The NLCS on Fox pregame show sponsored by Geico, and thank you to Robin Thicke. You can join him on The Masked Singer this Wednesday on Fox Worldwide Park in Arlington, our studios in L.A., and it's great to see you. We take you up to the first pitch tonight with the Hall of Famer, the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas, Big Poppy, David Ortiz, yes, sir. A Rod, Alex Rodriguez, and I'm Kevin Burkhardt. And I have no idea what kind of show this is going to be because <laughs> we're, uh, we we're preparing, we're doing homework, and over there, Poppy, I'm like, wow, he's watching video. He's watching LeBron highlights. <laughs> <laughs> Go Lakers. He's working. <laughs> it's over. They won already last night. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I you, thought he was one more game. We can move on. We've got one on one. Oh, by the way, we got baseball coming up for you on Fox, and there was another baseball game in the other league. That's right, Astros and Rays game two of the ALCS. The Rays. Rays won game one, and guess what? They're looking to go up 2-0. Manuel Mar Margo, three-run shot off Lance McCullers, gave him an early lead, and then watch Margo on D. This is incredible. Long run off of George Springer's bat. Check this out, boys. Look Take out. a picture. Oh, whoa. Just Bam. Unreal catch. Margo hangs on into the concrete, got banged up a little bit, stayed in the game. Razor up 2-0 in that series. Wow. Here's what's trending now in the NL. Plenty of questions about their pitching coming in, but the Braves quieted those concerns. They swept the Reds in the wild card, didn't allow a run. Two more shutouts in a three-game sweep of the Marlins. Back in the NLCS, first time since 01. And then coming into October with the best record in baseball, but seeking their first World Series title in 32 years. Dodgers made quick work of the Brewers, and then they swept the Padres in the division series to so their fourth NLCS in the last five season. Everybody's going Dodger blue. All right, now we're you really... bring the Dodgers? I'm going to Atlanta. <laughs> you got to switch it up. <laughs> hey, let's get uh, out to the Come game on, in Arlington. Joe Buck, John oh, Smoltz, hey. have it. Enjoy. Oh, All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Game one of the National League Championship Series is presented by Camping World. It's the Atlanta Braves. It's the L.A. Dodgers. Good matchup in this league championship series. Now, welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. I'm Joe Buck. That is a Hall of Famer, John Smoltz. The top two seeds are left in the National League. And, John, when you look at the numbers as these two franchises meet for the first time in LCS history, the offensive numbers are pretty similar. They really are. And they're scary in both ways that they can play the game with power, they can play the game with speed. But when you talk about the numbers, they're one and two in just about everything. The Dodgers can make pitchers pay one through nine. And what the Braves have been able to do, it all starts with both leadoff hitters and if you think about this series and the keys to offensive success the Braves strike out more than the Dodgers it could come down to who puts the ball in play 
more than the other team. And in the postseason, that has not been easy to do against either staff. The pitching numbers are out of this world so far in the postseason. It really is difficult when you look at the stats to split these two teams on paper. Both won five games in the postseason. Both pitched outstanding from the starters and the bullpen. And again, the depth of the Dodgers will be the swinging point if it comes down to that. They have more depth than the Braves do. Yep, each side also has an MVP candidate from the regular season. We'll go down to the field and start with the Dodgers side and Ken Rosenthal. Thanks, Joe. In recent playoffs, the Dodgers have been strikeout prone, home run reliant. But this year, their offense is more varied, and a big reason is Mookie Betts. In their three-game sweep of the Padres, the Dodgers scored 23 runs, but only one came on a homer. Betts was on the front end of a double steal. He took extra bases. He set the tone for the entire team. Now, this ballpark plays big. But the Dodgers have shown they can score in multiple ways. Now, over to Tom Verducci. Well, thanks, Ken. After getting hit hard by COVID-19, Freddie Freeman put up career-best numbers in batting average and slugging. He loves to swing at the first pitch, loves to hit in the big spots, and really loves the fastball, no matter how fast. The average big leaguer hit 242 against fastballs 95 and above. Freeman, and this is just ridiculous, hit 500. And that matters tonight. With Hart throwing Walker Bueller on the mound, the next to challenge the heart and soul of the Atlanta Braves. Joe? And a nice moment for the Freeman family before tonight's game. There's a heart and soul right there for Freddie Freeman. We get set for baseball. Should be a fun series. Seven games if needed in seven straight days. It's the NLCS coming up next on Fox. Saturday strong oh, off. as Big Ten football returns. A new season starts October 24th on Fox and FS1. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Now buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. But I don't care if I ever get back. Get ready for a good old-fashioned Texas showdown. Now the Braves are back on the NLCS range for the first time since 2001. Led by their stud MVP. Rip the stitches right off of this thing. Freddie Freeman breaks hearts. These young bulls can't be corralled. If you're looking for firepower, you've come to the right place. When they don't win, it's a shame. But this isn't the Dodgers' first rodeo. And while they've come up short in the past, they're hoping to find that elusive needle in the haystack. Oh, with an offense that can score runs till the cows come home. And a stable of arms. Don't put them out to pasture just yet. Now it's one, two, three strikes, you're out. Well, it's time to separate the wheat from the chaff. It's game one of the NLCS. Of the old ball game. I mean, who among us hasn't done that? Separate the wheat from the chaff. It looks like the uh, Braves are loose and ready to go. We're doing things Texas style. 